Hello. So we got a full house. Let's get this started. My name is Kabuki. Usually I'm also behind one of these machines, but tonight my job is to be kind of like a color commentator, to give you some running insights while the action is happening here on stage. Talking about the stage, let me introduce who's with me tonight. Starting from the left, give a big hand for Figo Braslevich. Next up, to my left, Atsum Yot. And all the way from beautiful Vienna, we have Brank Sinatra. And last but not least, tucked away in the corner, Simdal. Yay. So the exciting thing tonight is you'll be able to kind of peek over their shoulders and get some first, uh, kind of first person insights into their workflows and especially how they're kind of finding creativity under pressure. That's the motto we are dealing with here tonight. And to give you an idea about the general concept, they have 20 minutes to uh, create a beat using the same sample pack that we created for them, uh, consisting of 16 sounds. So. As a first step, let me just quickly run you through the sound so you get an idea the, uh, of the source material that everybody has to deal with, okay? So let me just walk you through it. We got your standard issue kick, another one, snap, snare, closed hi-hat, open hi-hat, crash, tom fill, so this is very dear to me, this is actually a, a little plug, it's a drum break from an expansion that I just uh, put out a couple of months ago with a partner of mine, and this is actually a recreation of a classic drum break from the 70s, from the Headhunters, so you better treat this one well, okay? <laughs> Moving on, we got a hit. Like a little loopy thing. <laughs> Okay, some kind of synth. Okay, moving on. Some special effects, echo sound some kind of impact, and a little vocal at the end. So whoever's running the clock, now's the time to start it. 20 minutes, here we go. All right, so basically using the sample, repitching it, creating a little riff based on that. Cool. So they don't have to use all of the 16 sounds. As long as they have to use three, that's kind of the, the basic requirement. Obviously, Figrup has the hardest part because he's starting out from nothing, but this is how you, you write a beat. You start from nothing, out of thin air.
All right, so basically starting out, just dragging and dropping the audio samples in there, so to get the basic kind of pattern going. All right, so we got the eight north heights going. The whole thing is slowly starting to take shape. It's waiting for the snare. And there it goes. some EQing. All right, cool. I say we move on from Figo, we give him a chance. This is kind of the, the genesis of the beat. Later on when we get back, you're gonna hear what it turned into. Next up, add some yacht. Let's see what you're cooking up. Let's just change over the sound and also get him on the big screen. There we go. It's FL Studio. BPM. Under 20? All right. It's favorite BPM. So loading some, some um, sample archive. Okay. That's live. The blue screen of death. <laughs> and it's live. Oh, don't, don't cry. So can we salvage it? Ah, there we go. Yeah, this. Can't even focus on the job anymore. 
So Alan, talk us through, what did, what did you do so far? Which of the sounds did you use? There's a mic for you. Yeah, there, there are eight males for me right now. But uh, basically, I just choose this, uh, this piano loop sample or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. I uh, took this 808 kick whatever and the snare. And uh, I took those hi-hats, but I shortened them cool. and pitched them a little bit down. And I also took this uh, sci-fi effect sound. Yes, that's the sound which is always running backwards right now. Okay, so you reversed it. Yeah, yeah. But it's so it's 100% right made out of the sounds from the sample pack. Again? 100% sample pack. Uh, by now, yes. Okay, cool. Now I will start to use other sounds, and I'm searching for the best synthy right now, but All right. it's a little bit different for me. So for you'll me. be playing those lines live, yeah? So Again? You'll, you'll be adding them live on top? Yes, of yes, of course. Okay, but cool. Actually, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. It's a very awkward situation for me in front of people to produce and stuff. <laughs> it's awkward for them as well, don't worry. <laughs> All right, so I say we leave you to it. You can continue and then we switch over to Brank, see what he's been cooking up the last 10 minutes. You're up, homie. You can still go on, but we will just listen to what you do. Yeah, yeah, klar, los. So Brink going way slower, 84 BPM. He's chopping up the main sample. And you can hear he's basically not using it at the tempo the loop was originally recorded, but rather he's just re-triggering it and making it his own thing. You can also see the evolution, you know, when we started out on the very left, we just had the basic loop going with the hi-hat, and when we moved over to Alan, you could already hear a more fleshed out loop, and now with Brink, we're already at the part where it's kind of, we're starting to arrange different elements. on all the four, so it's 
starting to build up momentum. Retuning the cymbals. Frank always likes his drums very pitched down. Minus six half tones we talked earlier. One minute. Homie, you got a minute. Talk to us. There's your mic. So, where, where, where do you see yourself taking this in the last five minutes? We already got a good idea, the vibe and the groove. What do you still want to add? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, um, just a basic loop uh, with the 808, like in tune, you know, like pitched up and down like a melody, like a bass melody. You know, yeah. Let's see where this is going. I don't know. Okay, and you, you wanted to use the piano, that was your main... No, nah, I just, you know, like, like this gangsterish type of right. early... Uh, like the first... Uh, right. You know, so... Low, the low single note. Yeah, yeah, so I was just looking for the right note. But I guess, yeah, I guess I got it now. Cool, yeah, definitely sounds prank. So we leave you to it, please go on. And then yeah. we switch over. We see what Simdal has been cooking. He definitely had the advantage. Already 50 minutes, so this will be more far more advanced what we hear so far. So let's just hear what he's done and later on we have a little chat with him. Just keep doing your thing. You can use the mic. Hello, hello. My name is Simda. So first I use um, a plugin that's called the mouth. I sample my own vocal and, and then, wait, here, you can see that here, Zack. and here's my, here's the mouth. It's actually a reactor ensemble. Yes, yeah, a reactor ensemble, then after that I do like something like that, wait, here, a little bit synth, so then I can put a little bit of vocoder inside. And after that, I chopped the sample here. Uh, wait here. Uh, sample. Can we get a little bit more volume here up on the stage? More volume stage, please. Drums is coming here. So he's also using the step sequencer. It's a very quick way to enter notes. Note repeat to... Ellen, you ready? Just dance a little bit. After that, I have here the 808.
We have here the new uh, perform button here, and then you can slide some drums. Yeah, so using the perform effects, you have the one strip, one finger, you can manipulate the sound. So that's a beat repeat. Or you can switch your drums like that, it's like... Wait. And that's 20 minutes. Give a hand for everybody, come on. All right, very nice, very nice. So yeah, that was kind of the evolution of a beat. You could see from the very beginning to a more developed version to even more advanced version to almost the final product. And um, I think it would be great if we would have the chance now to listen to the final beats that everybody produced in the 20 minutes. So, Figup, Alan, whatever you have. Is anybody ready who wants to play first? Yeah, okay, so let's give a hand for Figup. Let's check out what he's done. Nice one. So I think that's a great example. We saw the very, the very genesis. You heard the hi hats on all fours. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. You know, that's how every beat starts. So Figup, just talk us a little bit through what you've done. Like, what was the idea? How did it develop over the 20 minutes? Yes, there's your mic. Yeah, I basically uh, used the most sounds I could get now in the shortest time, and I tried to find to do anything with it. That's basically it. So I have this, this from this, a little part of this sample of the jazz part, and I made a bass part and a, a high you, filter. You part. low passed it yeah, on high, one high channel, and it's like an exactly. old 90s trick, isn't it? And I used uh, this drum set of you a little bit inside in the back, right. but I pitched it a bit up and compressed Appreciate it a little bit. Then I have this, this one sound, and I uh, built the drums out of the different sounds, a bit pitch. And uh, then I had this sample, oops. Right. Back fitting to this sound. Somehow I like, I like hip hop likes the disharmonic things. And then there's the last sound, which is uh, not common at the moment, but it sounds like. like with a phase or a flanger. Exactly, and all together. Yeah. So what's up, y'all? That's it. Yes. Nice job. Respect. Respect. All right. That's that's a that's a tough start. Yeah. Can I go home now? <laughs> Come on. Really? Well, Damn. You got you got something. You cooked something there as well. I'm pretty sure. You're just pretending. Yeah. Um, I can't do next because I guess uh, we need something to get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so play us what you got. Um, so basically, really, that's the worst beat I've ever made. But, oh no, okay. Yeah, I just.
Yeah, really, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> So it was actually really interesting. It has like a triplet feel. It's almost like a like a waltz thing, right? Yeah, I mean, really, I just uh, the beat first sounded like this. So you can judge maybe if it's better right now. But that's that was the beat when I started it. All right. But I wanted to make some like. Uh, Triolen, how the triplet, the, the triplet feel. Yeah. Uh, so I added this uh, really basic cross beat stuff on it, so to make more. Oh yeah. Bouncy, I guess. And I started with the um, uh, 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 sample. Okay. And you pitched it down all the yeah, way. Yeah, pitched it really, really, really down. But uh, oh, which one is it? Oh fuck, it's. Uh, which one was it? Here. All right, that sounds pretty different. Yeah, that was a sample at first, and I made more like this. Because I wanted it's well to moody. Make, yeah, I wanted to make something dark, but really, I couldn't get into the sample right now. <laughs> so I tried. Nice one, really good. Thanks, bro. All right, moving on to the right, Bring Sinatra, what you got? Okay. Let me loop this real quick. It's a Bring Sinatra beat. Yeah, but not my best beat, like he told, like he said. Yeah, not my best beat, but it's okay, I guess, for 20 minutes. I, c I can hear MC8 on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some type some. So t tell me one thing, like one thing I realize about your uh, your drums is always like some of them are on, some of them are off. That's for me like the Bring Sinatra groove. So you use quantization on that one, or is it uh, all natural? No, uh, never. For never training use it. wheels. Basically, I try to um, like make the kick pretty like quantized, if you say so. But um, the height's pretty off always, they're sloppy, so it makes my kind of groove, I like, you know. The Viennese groove. I guess. Very nice. Give a hand, Bring Sinatra. <laughs> All right, so the last one in the, in the corner to the right. Simda, we already heard quite a bit of your beat, but maybe you want to run us through also how you build it up, play it, and then talk some words about try, it. I try, I try to show you what I have. There's nothing special, but... All right. Can you hear something? So this was my intro, and... A little bit summer vibe, you know? And then the change over to my, like... That's it. Nice That's one. It. Big up Simdai. So I was really curious to see that you actually use the mouth so much. So it's kind of, it's really experimental because Maybe you just show quickly what you've done. Yeah, I can show you that a little. Wait, look, I go here and wait, tuck. My first section. So I can, I delete my sample here. Wait. Uh, my mixer, tuck. So wait, one second. So it's basically a real time effect yeah, processor. Yeah, That's yeah. what it is, right? All 
All right, so basically it takes your voice. All right, so we got it looped up now. Yeah, it's finished now, and then you can, I can bring my sample back here. a new function of a machine now I can switch my tempo like it's here a, it's the new audio loops that's really cool to work with and everything is synced up every time I can go faster everything is in the same time this is a new feature of a machine yeah, nice so it's actually it's a very recent update but it's nice you already put yeah, it to good yes, use perfect perfect yes so yeah, I think that was a great example. They all had the basic uh, raw material. They all did something completely different with it. And um, yeah, let's give them a hand once more. And I think that also brings us to the end of this segment called The Flip, because uh, yeah, basically, the origin comes from taking one sample and flipping it, but we kind of expanded the idea and just said, what if four producers with very different backgrounds and different sounds use the same source material and then do their own little take on it? And um, as a kind of final note, the, the sample pack we use tonight is also available for download. It's, we're doing a competition together with Metapop, and if you are an aspiring producer or like a seasoned pro, you just go online, you download the sample pack, you make a beat, you, on, uh, you upload it, and uh, you have a chance to win like a couple of prizes and fame and fortune and all that goes with it. And at least you can kind of put yourself head to head with these guys tonight. So thanks a lot for the patience and I hope you had a good time.